All of us are aware that heart disease is the end result of certain, certain risk factors. Risk factors means the situations which paves the way for developing heart disease. Amongst the known risk factors, we know that diabetes, blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, family history, these are the most known five risk factors. Of them, many are preventable. You cannot change your family history, but you can definitely con quit smoking. You, you have to make your blood pressure and blood sugar controlled by drugs so that the bad effects of these two risk factors doesn't hamper your future heart, heart problems. At the same time, there are certain lifestyle modification is important. If you are always try to lose weight, if you are a sedentary habit, start walking. Your health habits must be, food habits must, must be healthy. Healthy means you have to do a lot of fruits, vegetables rather than fried things, oily food and red meat and oily, oily, oily food. And amongst the a very common question asked that which oil is uh, you can take. I think uh, mainly mustard oil is good. The white, the other other white oils are also good, but you should avoid monospati and other things which are ghee and butter. You should you should avoid. And also, it is important. It, it, in lifestyle modification is a very common word, but you have to understand what does that mean. Suppose yeah, one of the factors which causes heart disease, I told, obesity, but how will you know that you are obese? There are two or three parameters which can say that you are in a high risk of obesity or not. Especially nowadays, girth of the abdomen is more, more risk factors than the total body weight. It should be less than 35 for male and 32 for female. And body mass index should be 25. These are the rough parameters, but there are different variations in different forms of uh, structure and ethnic population. I, I should have started with the smoking. This is the most important preventable risk factor. If you want to stop smoking, you have to find find out that the, the boys and younger children will start smoking like this at their school, uh, late school giving age and college days. So emphasis should be, uh, should be that they do not start smoking. But nowadays we always educate the ed senior population to quit smoking. But emphasis should go to the point where they start smoking in the colleges and schools because this process of atherosclerosis sta starts uh, in the late adolescence and even in the early 20s. One of the most important difference of heart disease of our country from the, from the Western counterpart that we start the changes 10, 10 years before them because one of the reasons is that of course sedentary habits, smoking and this, this new form of diet which is more prevalent in this part of the globe. High blood pressure and high blood sugar are the very common diseases which accompany the heart disease. They work hand in hand. One can, one, both of them have to be controlled by drugs so that the bad effects of these two factors can be minimized. The target of blood pressure should, should be 140 by 90. Whatever drug you take, but it, it, it should go below 100 by 40 by 90. Not partially controlled, but go to the target. And above 100, above, above the age of 65, it can be 150, 90. And blood sugar, fasting should go below 100. HB, A1C should be 6.5. These are the parameters which has to be followed by the patients must know this target values so that they can monitor their own treatment. 
because they are these are the uh, these are the values they have to follow throughout their life so they must know what what level you should go to control and to avoid the bad effects of this high blood sugar and cholesterol and another another factor which is very very important is the high lipid content or cholesterol or lipid profile high uh, unfriendly lipid profile high high cholesterol high ldl these are the t- things which starts deposition of uh, fatty material called fatty streaks in the early early adolescence so from the starting to the beginning of a plaque the cholesterol plays an important part so it has to be controlled from the very beginning with adequate now there are very good versatile drugs which can like statins or newer drugs are also coming which can control the cholesterol level so that the plaque burden diminishes the stable plaque this plaque become more stable and so control of cholesterol is not not only control the value but actually the pathological process of uh, developing uh, plaque is also um, affected in in a in a better way by controlling your blood lipids regarding cholesterol one uh, one thing one must uh, remember because low in cholesterol there is no lower limit of cholesterol lower the better was a was a theme once started but it may not be that true but the level sh- should be below 100 ldl and below 150 total cholesterol and then the patient who has already heart disease level can be even lower if the level becomes to the t- this target don't stop or reduce the drug it has to remain low not by reducing the blood uh, blood cholesterol for certain days but thereafter throughout you have to maintain the, the dose of cholesterol and uh, many of the treatment in our in this part of the world is incomplete in cholesterol based because they don't give adequate statins which is changing now rapidly and 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 this is giving some benefit Uh, as so far as cholesterol uh, level control is concerned just to summarize the seven steps for a healthier heart i would say the first step is leave smoke free quit smoking there is no scope of reducing you have to make it zero smoking number 2 is the blood pressure control blood pressure should be in your target 130 to 40 by 80 90 is adequate control but that has to be controlled throughout not for a few days and then it let it go number 3 is a maintain in healthy weight and target body mass index index is less than 25 or the girth which i told that it should be less than 36 girth of the abdomen this is more important in our part of the country but trunkal obesity is more than the total uh, more out of proportion to the body weight control of blood sugar fasting should be below 100 hba1c should should be 6.5 number 6 step is get an active life at least 30 to 60 minutes walk brisk walking so that you sweat provided you don't get angina or chest pain uh, daily walking every day 30 to 60 minutes is a must that will control your blood not only your body weight but that will help control your blood sugar blood cholesterol and general well being of the body and the and the seventh step is a heart friendly diet you take low sodium high potassium that diet that mean less of salt and much of fruits that will control your blood pressure take less oily food less fried food that will control your cholesterol level take adequate vegetables and whole grains these the, the, the they that is um, uh, most heart friendly so, and you should avoid red meats and egg yolks these are the things you all know so these seven steps will give you a much better environment for the heart to live longer